Hey, what's up everybody? I'm dusting off the old boxes today. <laughs> Literally, to teach you the eight box balance. Check it out. So grab eight boxes and let's get learning. Let's get learning. Let's get learning. Let's get learning. Grab eight boxes. Let's get learning. Yeah! Learning! What? This is why I film in the garage. <laughs> As you can see, because of the coronavirus, I am filming this week's video in our barn. And uh, I don't want to drive my family crazy by filming in the living room. I hope you are all using this time to be productive and creative and hopefully learn some new things. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I've got more tutorials and trick videos coming out all the time. And uh, I hope you like it. Enjoy. Okay, eight box balance, nice and easy. You take your eight boxes, you count up to the one, two, three, four, five, fifth one, push it over a little bit and bring the other ones back. Now in my right hand, I have the side that has four boxes. My left hand has three before the gap. I'm gonna start by folding down the right side, just like that, so that it can start alternating these boxes back and forth until it makes kind of a flying V. Flying v. I then take my right hand, flying v. and the box that the right hand is holding on the side that had four, and I pivot it like this, keeping most of the weight in my left hand, and then I slide that right box in until it's directly under this joint right here. So it's straight down, you can see below that balance point. From there, I take the left-handed box, now that it's balancing on the right, and I stick it underneath it to make a column. I take that whole thing, I put it on my chin, I'm spotting the top, and I can let go and balance it. Okay, a quick note on balancing things because this is the eight box balance. You're gonna take your object, in this case, the cigar boxes, but I recommend you start with a broom or something that's a little bit longer because it'll take longer to fall, which will give you more time to get under it. You take that thing and you put it in your hand or on your chin or on your foot or wherever you wanna balance it, and you're actually gonna look at the top of the object. So that way when it starts to fall, you have time to move your hand underneath or your chin in that case. So what I used to do is I started with a, a long dowel, like a, a piece of wood, and I cut it down little by little until I could go all the way to a, a teaspoon on my nose. So if I put these boxes on my chin, you can see that my eyes are looking at the top of it, and as it falls, I'm moving under it <laughs> to stop it from falling. The same thing is going to apply when you have the eight box balance. Turn to the side so you can get a better look. I'm going to put it on my chin and then I'm looking right up here, right at the center of gravity and moving my head. Ooh. Whoa. It's a, it's a boat, it's a canoe. To come back, I take those first two boxes just like I built in the first place and go in the reverse order. Flying v. And then I can open my hands to make two stacks that you can put together and finish the trick. All right guys, if you like this video, hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll try to keep the, oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that. I can just rest it on the beam. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Bates. I'll see you next time. Have fun boxing. Oh! Oh!